Ecusine and Tomoru. Brought to you by Tabasco. Distributed on Guam by Market Wholesale. Half a day, Guam, Guangxi, Jolene Tovis, and it's time for Fiesta Fridays e Casino in tomorrow. And tonight, I welcome you into my kitchen where we're going to cook up a dish that will definitely make your mouth happy. All right, so being that we live on an island surrounded by an ocean full of fish, I figured it'd be perfect to feature my baked parrot fish dressed in a Tabasco mayo spread. Now, to get started, what you're going to need is salt and pepper, some ginger, garlic, onions, green onions, tomatoes, mayonnaise, your parrot fish, and of course, Tabasco. We can't forget this. Now, let's get cooking. Before you get started on the marinade, we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. So while that's getting heated, we're going to mix together our dressing. Okay, so first you're going to put some... Eight, oh, three, two, one. So first you're going to put some mayonnaise in a bowl. Now depending on the fish, the size of your fish and how many fish you're going to cook, the quantities will vary. But you take some of your ginger and you just scoop it on in to the mayonnaise. Then you take, you add your garlic. And you want to be generous with everything because this is going to pack, pack a world of flavor that's just going to tantalize your taste buds. Then we're going to add our onions, green onions, and our cherry tomatoes. So once that's all added in, then we're going to mix our dressing so that everything is even and evenly distributed. We're gonna add in a world of flavor with our Tabasco. So you're going to go ahead and pour as much Tabasco as you can handle because as I said, this packs a world of flavor and it really kicks up the dish. So I generously added it because I wanted a little bit more spicy. And then go ahead and give it another mix around. Okay, so our dressing is done. Before we actually dress our fish with it, we're going to take our black pepper and salt, and you're gonna go ahead and add a pinch of salt to your fish on both sides. You wanna make sure it's evenly distributed. You even wanna get some of that salt inside. All right, so I've laid out some tin foil on a baking pan and I folded it like so to make sure that when I wrap my fish, it's secured and all the juices and the heat is trapped inside, which helps it in cooking the fish. Before we actually get the fish on the foil, you're gonna wanna take a few scoops of your mayo and spread it out on the bottom of the foil. Now we're gonna take our fish, and we're gonna place it on top. And get a shot of that. So we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna take more of our dressing, and we're gonna stuff the fish in the inside, because we want it completely saturated with flavor. Add a little bit more Tabasco for flavor. So once that's nicely dressed with our spread. You're going to secure your fish by taking both ends of the foil and bringing them together. And you're gonna fold it like so. As I said, this is gonna make sure that all that juices from the fish and from the vegetables as they cook. They're trapped in along with the heat so that your fish is not dry when it's time to eat it. So all you need is a dry fish. That's not tasty. All right, so there we go. Our fish is ready to be put in the oven.
So let's see how our fish turned out. All right, so after about 45 minutes baking in the oven, we take our parrotfish out and this is our finished product. But of course, the true test is how it tastes. So I've called on my videographer, Jacob Sablon, to give it a try and tell us what he thinks about it. All right, so I'm gonna give you a scoop here. Fish is yummy. Oops. And this is, has bones, so of course, be careful when you eat it, because the bones can be a hassle. It's the only thing about fish that kind of gets on my nerves is the bones. Go ahead, give it a taste. If this is for you, I'll take this one. Oh, you'll take that one. You're going to eat the whole fish to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I'll eat the whole fish to myself. Look at me, I'm a pretty hefty guy. <laughs> All right, so what do you think? It's good. It's good? How's that Tabasco on there? It needs a little bit more. You like want spicy. a little bit more? Here's some more. There you go. Now, remember, for more recipes that add Tabasco and a world of flavor to your dishes, visit Market Wholesale Distributors on their Facebook page. Thank you, Guam, and adios, and we're going to get to eating. Adios, Guam. Eat Cuisine and Tomorrow, brought to you by Tabasco, distributed on Guam by Market Wholesale.